Hey everybody, Scott Colby here with my buddy Arnel Franca. We're here in the beautiful Cancun, Mexico for a little vacation slash business trip. Arnel's actually the creator of a new program called the 1000 Calorie Challenge. He's going to walk me through some of the workouts and you're going to be able to follow along and try them out yourself. So, Arnel, what do we got? Okay, great. We are doing what's called the Giant Set. Basically what it is is we're actually doing four exercises. We're going to do a pushing movement. In this case, we're doing push-ups squatting movement with a combination of press in the form of squat and press followed by uh, pulling movement which in this case we're doing bent over row and finishing it off with a lunge jump in this case what we're doing is going to be time based we're doing 30 seconds of work 30 seconds break i'm sorry 35 seconds work 35 seconds break before a total of two rounds so first thing first again we're doing push-ups for pushing movement again in this case i'm using a gym boss to to uh, track the time so get 30, ready 35 seconds 35 seconds in three two one go you want to try to do as much reps as you can within time within the time period when you're doing push-up you want to make sure you're using your chest exhaling as you come up right here in this case you want to keep your abs tight keeping your back flat everything everything aligned from your spine all the way down to your toe keep going exhale as you come up the goal is to do as much as you can then from here, again, we're taking a 35 seconds break before we move on to squat and press. Extremely metabolic, it's a simple push-up that, 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 uh, that anyone can really do. Three seconds, two, one. Take a break. Whew. Push-up is one of those underrated exercises yeah. that can be done anywhere. The beauty about it is that you don't need any equipment and it works a lot of the, the um, big muscles, including your chest, um, your, your shoulders, and your tricep. All right. So in, Next one we're doing is a simple squat, but again, we're combining it with a, sh uh, with a shoulder press. So you're squatting down, pressing as you come up, bring it down, squat, press, using your entire body as a unit. Get ready, in five, four, three, two, one, go, okay? Keep going. So here, you wanna keep your elbows tucked in, press up, extremely, you can start off with any weight. If you're a beginner, start off with maybe a lighter weight between 5 to maybe 10 pounds. But if you're more advanced, maybe you can start off with 15 to 25 pounds. Right now, he's using a lot of muscle, a lot of muscle group. Not only is he using lower body, but he's also using upper body along with his core. Keep going. We're almost done. 5 seconds. And I hope you guys are following along. In 2, 1. Take a break. Good job, buddy. Got my heart rate up, burning you, in the uh, shoulders and legs. So the goal with this workout is to get your heart rate up and pumping, pumping and burning massive amount of calories by utilizing all the big, biggest muscle group. In this case, again, we're focusing in the pushing, pulling, lunging, and the squatting movement. You have 10 seconds. The next one That's we're it? doing. <laughs> yes, it actually goes pretty fast. The next one we're doing is a simple bent over row, folding from your hips. Chest high, hands up below the butt, right here, pulling, squeezing your shoulder blade as you come up, squeeze, okay? You want to focus on keeping your back flat. The last thing you want to do is rounding your back. Keep going, exhale, keep it, keep it pumping, there you go. Alright, how are you guys doing there? 10 seconds left, keep going. I'm feeling All it. Right. And then after, um, from this, we're gonna take 35 seconds break, followed by a lunge jump this with a hand good. overhead. Take a break. Good for the back and the uh, arms here. Extremely metabolic. Um, one foot forward, one foot back. Right here, you wanna explode with both feet up, switching your legs as you come up, okay? I'm sorry. Keep your, make it a little bit harder by keeping your hands over overhead. And obviously there are a couple of ways of, do, of um, doing it to make it easier or harder. If you want to make it harder, you can, obviously you can have dumbbells on your side or even perhaps keeping keeping um, weights over your head. But again, if you're just starting out, just use your body weight. Three seconds. In two, one. There you go. Again, we're doing it this for 35 seconds. So try to keep up with Scott. Slow up. Trying to keep everything right in the middle. There you go. Good. Arms just, overhead engages your abs more. You just can't beat this. We're working out right in in Mexico. <laughs> All right, keep going. You only have 10 seconds left. 
and I'm sure by now he's already feeling it. His heart yeah. rate is elevated. Right now his body is trying to fight for oxygen. So we're quite creating an oxygen death. And but but by take a break by doing that, uh, and then we're starting all over again. We're and finishing it up with the with the last round. We're going back to push-ups, but and then squat and press again to bend over row to a um, the overhead lunge, jump lunge. How are you feeling? This will be a lot harder the second round. Yes, but and it's it gets good. Harder. This is a a good way yep. to do your workouts. If you want combining results, your you gotta uh, have an intense workout. All right, and strength. Eight seconds. Back to push-ups. Four seconds. Let's go. I know it. Go ahead. I don't even want to get down yet. Let's go. And obviously, with this with push-ups, you can definitely make it easier or harder depending on your own fitness level. You can, if you want to make it easier, you can easily go on your knee. Uh, to a knee position, to the knee push-ups. If you want to make it harder, multi there's tons of ways to make it harder. One way is as simple as elevating one of your legs. To so do a one leg push-up, uh, even if, you, if for the most advanced, you can easily do a one, uh, an explosive push-up, you can do a one arm push-up. Really, you can easily customize this workout to, to suit your fitness level. Okay, good, take a break. That was harder. Hard to do push ups with your uh, breathing up. We're almost done. We only have three more three more exercises left. Keep in mind that right now he is burning a lot of calories. However, what's even more important is that after done after he's done working out, um, you have 10 seconds. After he's done working out, not only that, he's also gonna be he'll keep burning more calories even even as long even up to five hours, 10 hours, 24 hours, and in some cases with certain workouts, even up to 48 hours. Okay, good. There you go, drive with the, with the legs, explode up. Right now he's using, I think roughly about 17.5 pounds. Um, it may seem light again, but this is a very advanced movement. Simple to do, but very metabolic. Keep going, keep going. There you go, keep your abs tight. We're almost done. We only have five more seconds. Keep it up. Let's finish strong with this one. Two, one. There you go. Now we just he's in pain. Okay. Trying to laugh it off. <laughs> Alright, and it's following again with the bent over row. You wanna make sure when you're doing pushing movement, you wanna try to create a, a balanced workout. So obviously you wanna you wanna also use the the back of the muscle, in this case the bent over row. Okay, you, you still have time, 10 seconds. Okay. Just just really time. just enough Take just to catch <laughs> catch your breath, but not fully. You want really try to get that oxygen. Um, but there we go, keep keep pumping it. And make sure you keep that head up too, don't don't bend it. So keep in mind the reason why we're doing an upper body, lower body alternating between those two is because we're trying to create a um, what's called a peripheral heart action what that means is that is that you have a heart right here and when you work out your lower body your blood goes goes to where whatever muscle you're working and so by alternating between lower body upper body you're making your heart work even harder okay so which makes makes your heart even even stronger take a break last one you're almost done and so by doing so not only you will get the same benefit benefit as if you are doing the standard, standard cardio, but without doing cardio or you know, the traditional treadmill or running. And without doing like yeah. 90 minutes yes. of a workout. It's a quicker workout. It's a quicker and a more enjoyable workout. All right, 10 seconds, we're finishing it off with a jump lunge. Last one, just finish strong with this right, one. Last one, guys. You guys can do it too. Okay, go. Okay, again, we're doing this for about two rounds, but if you want to make it harder, simply add a, um, add a round. You can even in increase the repetition, you can increase your, your uh, work period, you can decrease rest period. There are a lot of ways to make to turn this giant set into, into something that you can do whether you want to make it easier or, or harder. So there you go, his legs must be burning by now. Keep going, finish it off. Finish strong, don't slow down, don't slow down. Three seconds left. In two, one. Don't you love that beep? Oh my God, yes. Couldn't wait right. to hear that. Well, good job. Thank you.